Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. If you find any, um, if you find this video helpful, uh, if you enjoy the content, then if you could please hit the subscribe button uh, and the like button, that would be awesome. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me to grow my channel and to bring you more information that might help you make a better decision when making purchases that you need to make your work life more productive and enjoyable. Okay, so today's video is about workwear, specifically work trousers. Now, um, I needed to buy some new work trousers recently and it's because the scruffs that I'm wearing here, um, they've got mass, they, they, <laughs> they ripped open in the middle of my butt. So I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that. I'll, I'll show you the rip when I've taken these off. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna turn around and show you. Um, I put my hand in there now. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> um, so I needed to find some new work trousers. Um, I went, I bought these scruffs after buying a pair of Snickers. Um, some Snickers work where, which they lasted me forever. I think they lasted about two and a half years. And the only reason they failed was because eventually the, the material started to wear out on the knees and on the, the thighs uh, and a little bit on the butt as well, where the material just, just wore through. It just, um, you know, so they, they didn't break apart at the seams is what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyway, I've, I came to YouTube um, to find a video about the best work trousers you can buy and there's nothing out there, nada. So I thought I would share my experiences of workwear. So already I can tell, the Snickers I've thrown in the bin a, a year or so ago, maybe it was about nine months ago, um, and I went to go and buy a new pair and the Snickers were about, they're about a hundred pounds, give or take. Uh, and I thought to myself, well, these scruffs, they're uh, flexi fit, hang on, what were they called? Trade Flex, these are called Trade Flex. So I just assumed that they had a bit of flex in them, that they would be comfortable and they would be relatively as hard wearing as the Snickers. Now then, um, I had these, I bought, I bought these about nine months ago, but I've been, uh, I've been away in Portugal for the last six months. So I've worn these for about two months worth of work. Scruffs, if you see this video, I, I mean, I can't take these back to the shop now and say, you know, these are worn out because they're gonna say, well, you've had them for a year or nine months. Uh, but I've actually, I've worn them for about six to eight weeks and they've got a massive rip in the butt. Um, they've got a tear in the knee, uh, which I, I think is just worn through. Um, they're not great. So I, I'll, but I'll talk more about the scruffs in a minute. Um, the first ones I'm going to talk to, instead of the knee pads going from the most expensive to the cheapest, I'll start with the cheapest. So if you're in the trade, if you shop in Lidl's, then I'm sure you've seen these bad boys. <clears throat> from the middle of Lidl, we've got the seven pounders. So I think these were seven pound or seven ninety nine. Um, they're incredibly lightweight, <laughs> very flimsy, um, but they're seven quid. So, you know, how many, you know, that's, um, that's what, uh, 10, 11, 12 pairs, uh, in comparison to the Snickers. Um, they've got a couple of little pockets. Uh, they've got no, this is, this is the, this is the no deal for me. They've got no pocket for your knee pads. So kind of, if you know, you know, if you're skimming walls all day, then great. Um, they've got very little, they've got a ruler pocket on the side here, a yard ruler. Um, they've got sort of normal sot style pockets. Um, and I guess this one is for your mobile phone. If you use a Nokia 3310, is that what they were called? Anyway, um, so, Seven pounds, middle of little. You can't really knock that at that price point. Um, if you're just going to be doing some skimming, um, some light work, nothing on your knees, seven quid, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm going to talk about the scruffs. Un momento, I have to take them off. Right, OK, 
Okay, so these are the scruffs. Um, when I bought these, there were lots of things that I liked about them. Oh man, there's, there's another hole I've just discovered. So what I did like about them was uh, these pouches, they're great. I can have some uh, five by 80 screws in this pocket, some four by 50s in this pocket. You know, if I'm doing two, you know, it's the, if I'm putting braces in uh, and then screwing down caber, then I can have both screws in these two separate pouches, uh, which is very handy. Um, I can have some bits in this zipped pocket. I like these pouches. I don't like wearing a tool belt. They just they just get in the way, and um, yeah, I kind of I, I like these sort of inbuilt tool belts. What I don't like about these trousers is the fact that. They've gone on the knee here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do another video just to do a close up. Uh, I just noticed that they've got a hole in the butt here on the pocket, and then they split down the seam, which um, is you know it's the manufacturer's fault because um, because they've actually gone on the seam. So you know there's no way that you could blame that on on um, you know on me. Um, They've got good pockets for knee pads, internal pockets for knee pads. Um, although that one's ripped. They're quite heavy, quite a lot of weight to them. Um, and they've got a hammer hook, which is really handy as well. Um, would I recommend them? I wouldn't recommend them. I'm sorry, Scruffs, but they're um, they're just you know 50 quid. I know it's not expensive, but then it's not cheap. So I kind of expected I expected them to last. Another thing you'll notice is that you're, you're gonna get out of shot. Another thing you'll notice is um, I've had to put a Snickers belt on. I bought a Scruffs belt and I bought these, and the Scruffs belt is rubbish. It just doesn't stay locked. It's, um, it's not fit for purpose. So would I recommend these? No. Would I recommend the Scruffs belt? No. Um, that's just my opinion. You may have uh, had a differ differing experience with the Scruffs. If you have, if you like them, if you rate these, then li please leave a comment down below and let me know. Let's have a debate. So, so that's the Scruffs. And they were, these are called the, Stra the Scruffs Trade Flex Holster Pocket and they were 49.98. Right, now I'm gonna put these back on and I'm gonna talk about the next pair. The ones that I'm wearing now, the Engelbert Strauss. Okay guys, this is the last pair I'm gonna to review today. And they're uh, the Engelbert Strauss ES Motion Winter. Now, loads of people that I know, loads of joiners in the Mafel Talk group, another joiners group on Facebook that I can highly recommend, um, have been raving about these trousers for a long time. And I just dismissed them because the, this pair of trousers were £77.88 and I was kind of overpaying a lot of money for um, for work trousers until I paid until I paid 50 quid for these and they failed after a couple of months. So these are the Engelbert Strauss and they've just arrived and um, I must say 
Uh, my first impressions are remarkable. They really are. Um, they're kind of like something you might wear. I don't know, I've never been skiing before, but they, they kind of look like something you'd wear um, skiing. The material is, um, is very thick, but it isn't very, they're not very heavy. They're not as heavy as the scruffs, um, but it has a kind of a waterproof, a water repellent feel to it. Um, but it also kind of feels breathable. I think these are like, these are the highest cotton content of all the trousers that I've, I've looked at today. I think, I think these are about 35% cotton, so they're gonna be more breathable than the other pairs, but they sort of have a more durable feel to them. Um, then in the knees, you've got uh, Cordura. I mean, this is, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's kind of, it's a really durable covering over your knees and over the knee pad pockets where most of the stress is going to be placed. Um, they have reflectable stripes, 3M stripes for safety. Not that that really matters, but you know, if you're sort of working outdoors, um, then maybe that does matter to you. Um, the pockets have the same sort of Cordura covering. Uh, it's got a yard ruler pocket, that's the yard ruler pocket. It doesn't have the, the sort of um, holster pockets that the Scruffs has, but you can buy them as an additional work bag. I think they're about 14 quid. And, um, and I put it in my basket and then I took it back out again and I wish I had ordered them because, um, because these sort of, um, it's got very deep pockets here. I don't know. I just like screws not next to my leg, if you know what I mean. I don't like them sort of jabbing into my leg. Um, now then, it says, I can't show you because my, I'm recording on my phone, but it says it's got a mobile pocket, a diagonal mobile pocket here, but my, <laughs> I've got a Samsung S21 and it doesn't fit. Engelbert Strauss, mobile phone, pocket. My mobile phone does not fit in too your mobile phone pocket. I don't keep my mobile phone in my pocket anyway. It's too, my mobile phone's too precious to me, so I leave it somewhere on the side. Um, so it's got various other pockets, Velcro pocket there. Uh, another side Velcro pocket there, which kind of feels like a credit card pocket. If you're lucky enough to have a credit card that isn't maxed out. <laughs> um, and then a popper pocket there. So plenty of pockets, um, but just none of the none of the holsters as like the scruff, scruffs has got. Now another thing about this, which they're just like putting on a pair of pajamas. They're very lightweight, but the ES Motion inside has this fleece lining. I'll do a more sort of detailed video of it after I've finished. Um, but it's got this sort of, um, this lovely soft fleece lining. <laughs> so if you're a bit of a wuss like me and you get cold in winter, if you feel the cold, then um, the, they do an ES Motion winter with the fleece lining, it's a little bit more expensive, or they just do the ES Motion, uh, ES Motion, which doesn't have the fleece lining. But my first impressions are, they really are, an absolute bobby dazzler pair of work trousers um, but I'll let you know if these fail really quick oh look got a little zip pocket in here oh that's quite deep as well you can maybe get your mobile phone in there if you wanted I can't try because I'm filming on my mobile phone have they got a zip pocket in there no and you see these sorts these sort of pockets here they just fill up with dust in my world I don't know about you guys but anyway, Engelbert Strauss, um, there the ES Motion Winter, and I'll do a more detailed sort of um, video so you can see them. So they're for winter, and then they also do the ES Motion, uh, I plumped for the navy, I don't know why. Um, slightly different to the blue of the trousers, same style pockets, 
Uh, it obviously doesn't have a fleece lining because these are for summer, um, but the same sort of hard wearing material and then the same Cordura on the pockets. Um, as I was getting some winter ones, I thought I'd get some summer shorts at the same time uh, because it saved on postage. Postage was quite, I think they came from Germany. But anyway, um, yeah, very, very comfortable. And another thing about them, which um, I'll show in a video now, is they have an elasticated waist on both of them. Look. So if you've got a bit of a penchant for cakes or beer, you've got a little bit of growing room in there. Look at that. For all you fatties like me. Thanks for watching. If you've liked the video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you know of any other workwear companies that you recommend, leave a comment down below. If you've had good or bad experiences with any of these products, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time from Tool Porn and Kismet Construction. Cheers folks.